Kurt Davis here with Real Estate Wealth Coaching. And today's video we're gonna do, we're gonna cover six reasons why you should be investing in real estate. Before I get to that though, uh, if you've been watching any of our videos, make sure you subscribe. If you have not already, just click the subscribe button in the bottom corner. Uh, if you like this video or any of the other videos, make sure you click the like button as well. Uh, let us know what you think, leave a comment. Uh, if you're new to real estate investing, jump on over to realestatewealthcoaching.com. You can sign up for some free training there, uh, get a couple free training videos. So with that being said, six reasons why you should own investment property. Now, I know there's a lot of videos out there. There's, there's four reasons why you should be in properties. There's 10, 12 reasons, whatever. Uh, I put together about six that I thought were good ones to talk about. So leverage. One of the reasons is to get involved in real estate investing is you can leverage. And what do I mean by leverage? So there are certain investments out there that there is no leverage opportunity. You have to completely buy it outright. Uh, but something like real estate, for example, if you buy a $100,000 property and you qualify for financing, you only have to put 20% down plus closing costs. So you're, you're taking advantage of leveraging. If you are not able to qualify for financing, uh, there's owner financing options available to you out there as well, which could potentially be more favorable than what bank financing looks like. You could be even less, if not sometimes nothing out of pocket in owner financing. It just depends on the type of terms that you work out with the actual seller. So uh, people taking advantage of the BRR strategy as well. Uh, obviously, you know, you got to qualify with the bank for the takeout loan on that, but that's a highly uh, leveraged situation as well. I utilize that myself where I borrow private money, purchase the home, renovate and then refinance out with my takeout lender and do it all over again. So leverage is a huge thing to take advantage of. Uh, mortgage pay down. Now the nice thing about when you buy rental property, you've leveraged by putting your, say, you know, your 20, 25% down. Now you have your tenants who are going to pay down your mortgage, they're basically making your monthly mortgage payment for you. So they're paying off principal, they're paying your interest, taxes, insurance, everything. So mortgage pay down, uh, the longer you can keep tenants in, the better in my opinion. But regardless, if you put it on a 15 year loan, ideally your tenants will pay almost all of that off for you aside from the times you have some vacancy. So that's another opportunity. Um, I probably should have said this one first, but one of the main reasons why people do buy investment property is they're looking for positive cash flow. What else can you really say about positive cash flow? Um, I will say that most people that I know, or at least clients that I work with, they are buying for cash flow, of course, and, and, and return on investment and things like that, but they don't need the cash flow from the properties right now to live on or supplement their income. They're buying for a, more of a long-term buy and hold type strategy. So. At some point in time, investors like us who are buying these properties will realize the full potential of the positive cash flow when these properties are paid off. But cash flow is another very important reason why uh, you should own property. Increasing your net worth. So when you buy a property, say for example for $100,000 and you do 20% down financing, now you've got an $80,000 loan. Uh, in theory, you have increased your net worth by $20,000 because of that initial equity, but now you've got your tenants who are paying down the mortgage and you've got, you know, depending on what's going on in the econ economy in the market, uh, if your property starts to appreciate, uh, you're increasing your net worth because tenants are paying the mortgage down while the appreciation is increasing. That's just going to increase your net worth. Uh, one of the things that's also positive about increasing your net worth is it also in some cases can make you more bankable to some lenders. Uh, if you're trying to get maybe a line of credit, trying to get a HELOC against your properties, uh, you know, the, the possibilities are endless with that. Uh, tax advantages, huge. That's one of the main reasons why a lot of investors buy property is for the tax advantages. A lot of high income earners need the tax advantages. Real estate will certainly offer that, and the more properties you have, obviously the more benefits you're going to get. But you know, just to name a few, there's obviously depreciation. Uh, you've got a lot of deductions, taxes, insurance, mortgage interest, property management fees, repairs. So uh, I'm not obviously a CPA, so if you want to know more about that, you can Google other videos or check with your CPA. But 
uh, tax advantages are huge. And you know, the last one I want to talk about is long-term wealth creation. So, you know, at some point in time, you know, you'll pay these properties off, however many of them that you have, or whatever your whatever goal you set for yourself, you'll pay these properties off. You can realize the true potential of the cash flow, but statistically these properties will have gone up in value so they'll be worth a lot more than what you paid for them at the time uh, these properties ideally should be able to take care of you in your retirement years just depending on when you want to retire and how much you need to retire on uh, what's also great about real estate is you can pass these on to your children if that's something that you decide to do uh, you could truly create generational wealth through real estate so I mean, that's about the six reasons why I think that you should invest in real estate and why you should own property. Uh, and I know that there are a lot more out there, but these are just six that I thought were good ones to talk about. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Let me know what I missed. Click the like button, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.